Good afternoon. I'm Chief Matashevsky from the Lake Mills Police Department. Um, I'd like to introduce a new program that the Police Department is going to start doing. It's called Police Pointers. The purpose of this program is to help prevent crime, help deter crime, and also enhance community safety. Each month, a Lake Mills police officer will present a new police pointer to the community, which will be aired on public access TV and social media, to include the police department's Facebook page, Twitter, and YouTube. Topics will be brief, relevant, and limited to concerns occurring in our community. This is just another example of how your police department is working with you to help keep your community safe. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about IRS tax scams. It's the season for everybody doing their taxes, and we'd like to get a little bit of information out there on a popular scam that occurred back in 2015 uh, tax season and is uh, occurring uh, this tax season as well. Um, the scam that seems to be very popular is one where a scammer will call a victim, taxpayer. Uh, they tell the victim that they owe the IRS money uh, and that the money must be paid immediately through either a prepaid credit card or wire transfer. Uh, and if there's any sort of reluctance on the victim's uh, behalf during the conversation, the scammer will typically uh, threaten that the IRS is going to have the individual arrested or they're going to spend their driver's license if they don't pay. Uh, some other characteristics of these scams uh, consist of the caller using a fake name and IRS badge number. Uh, they may recite the victim's last four digits of their Social Security account number. Uh, they may spoof IRS's toll-free number so that it shows up on the victim's caller ID on their phone. Uh, they may send bogus emails to follow up to make it appear as if they're legitimate. Uh, the victim may hear call site background noise to also make it sound like it's a, a legitimate call from the IRS. And the scammers will also go as far as following up with a spoofed call pretending to be the police or the Department of Motor Vehicles. Some important things to know is that the IRS will not initiate contact with a taxpayer over concerns that they have through email, text messages, or social media. And the IRS also will not ask for PINs or passwords for credit cards, bank accounts, or other financial accounts. However, the IRS will initiate contact with taxpayers through the post office mail if they have any questions or concerns. What should you do if you suspect an IRS scam phone call? Uh, if you owe taxes or think that you may owe taxes, the IRS requests that you call them at 1-800-829-1040. If you do not owe taxes, meaning you never received a bill, or the caller starts making threats to arrest you or suspend your driver's license, that's an indication that you probably have a scammer on the line. At that point, it's best if you report the incident to the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration at 1-800-366-4484. And of course, as always, if you have any further questions on this, feel free to call the Lake Mills Police Department at 920-648-2354.